Hermit Craft Infinity. Welcome back to Hermit Craft Infinity. All right. Uh, as you can see here, I've uh, beefed up the infusion setup a little bit. I've added the crystal clusters around the outside. And I've also uh, put in four of these zombie heads to help with stability issues. And I figure there's enough here that it should probably deal with uh, whatever I have to comes up with in terms of stability. I may add some of the tallow candles later on. Uh, not only for their stability thing, but for lighting and just plain for looks, because they look a little different than average torches. I've also put in some jar labels, which are slime ball, uh, black ink, and paper to get labels. You pop these things on the jar, and uh, it creates a little label, a symbol, of uh, the aspect that it contains. And uh, that way only that aspect can be routed to that jar. And I've also added to the number of jars. I now have 48. I know that uh, things like uh, Forbidden Magic and one or two other add-ons for Thalmcraft add additional aspects, and I'll add jars for those as the need arises. Okay, as you can probably tell, I am doing post-commentary today, at least for the first little bit of this video because I started recording the first few clips and I went to add them into the video project to you know kind of tighten up my editing as I went and uh, that's when I discovered that my microphone had been disabled. I had disabled it earlier for a different project and I had forgotten to re-enable it. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, so uh, as for the next thing to do is going to be the golems, as I said in the last episode. Now, I know that there are uh, things like Thomic Energistics in this pack, and I am looking very much forward to using it. But uh, I know also that not everybody watching is using the Infinity Pack and may not necessarily have access to Thomic Energistics. So I want to cover the Golems first and then later on progress to Thomic Energistics, which I am really looking forward to extremely awesome potential with it. But first, to get started with the Golems, it's time to do some research. Okay, we're back here at the spawn base now. Get some research done. One of the things that we're going to need with the golems is this magic tallow stuff. And I know this from previous uh, times around with Thomcraft. But uh, anyway, this stuff, you make it in the crucible with some precontatio. Some, you toss something in there that has two precontatio, and then you toss in a bit of rotten flesh, and you get the uh, magic tallow. And uh, the magic tallow can be used to make candles, which can be put around the infusion setup for stability or just used for looks and whatnot and lighting. You make that with string and two magic tallow in a crafting table, which you can also uh, later on put them into a regular crafting table with dyes to make them whatever color you want. Now, to get the golems, you notice that they're, the, most of the stuff on this tab is disabled. It's not available just yet, but there's that flashing item up here, the Hungry Chest. And this is one of those where you can just click to buy the research. So, let's do that. Okay, that's granted us the research for the Hungry Chest. And uh, take a quick look at that. And this is basically, you make the chest with planks and a trapdoor and some air, ordo, and perdito. And uh, basically what happens is when you, and it's when something gets tossed nearby the chest, close enough to it, the chest will automatically gobble it up. And now this has unlocked the straw golems. So now let's get the research for the straw golems. Okay, here's the solution I found for this one. And so let's have a look at the straw golems. And as you notice, this opens up a whole bunch of things uh, in terms of golem upgrades, the golemancer's bell, and uh, the golem cores, and it also unlocks the wooden golems. Now, I originally uh, 
in several places here was actually reading the text in the book. And what I figure is probably a better idea is that you go ahead and read this material and then when I get to where I'm actually using it and doing it, uh, it would be better to and easier, I think, to explain how things work when I'm actually using them so that I can demonstrate it at the same time. Because reading all this stuff out loud is, <laughs> it's a no-go. Again, one of the things we're going to need here is the Golemancer's Bell. It lets you... Uh, direct the golems and define where they're supposed to be working and what they're doing. It also lets you pick them up without destroying their uh, upgrades. And now here's the uh, wooden golems. Again, this is another click to purchase the research thing. And that has unlocked more items. It's unlocked the uh, traveling trunk and the flesh golems and the clay golems. Now, the clay golems is another one of those clicked purchase to research. So we'll do that, and that one unlocks not only the clay golems, but the tallow golems. And those are the ones that I've been looking for. So let's get the research for those. All righty, here's the solution I found for this one. And yes, I'm no longer doing post commentary, I've gotten past that initial problem. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, let's have a look at this. The tallow golems. Only marginally better than clay. It's got average durability, strength, and self-repair. It has an 8-item carry limit. Speed is average, but it has two upgrade slots. And you need tallow blocks, which is made from 9 magic tallow. And a tallow block Go, is the catalyst after you have eight Humanus, eight Modus, and eight Spiritus in the Crucible. And that produces the Tallow Golem. All right. And let's see, there are a bunch of other items down here. I'm not even sure what all of these are. I know they're upgrades. Uh, some of them are new, is why I'm saying that. Uh, let's see. There's some upgrades here. Okay. And after uh, double-checking, uh, the air upgrade is the one we're going to want for these golems here. So go ahead and click to purchase the research. And that's just uh, some gold nuggets around an air shard with 10 air and wand on the arcane workbench. Okay, not a problem there. Uh, let's see. We need to get these uh, golem cores researched. Let's we'll start with the core gather. And uh, that's just a, you get a blank core with some bricks around Nitor and the Arcane Workbench with Order and Ignis. And then you just right click on a freshly placed golem to attach it. And let's see, this is the gathering animation core, okay. And let's see, we've got Guard, we've got Harvest, Fill. I think, okay, let's purchase the research for fill. Ah, yes, okay. The fill core is uh, like this, a blank core with some famous and vacuous in the crucible. But the one we're going to need here is decanting. So let's get a research note. Okay, here's the solution for this one. The decanting core, and we'll have a look at that. You put a blank core in a cauldron with, or crucible with uh, five aqua and five vacuous, and you get a decanting core. And uh, this is the one that will let him uh, carry liquids like liquefied essentia from the distillation thing over to the jars. Okay, so. We need to start with the blank animation core. Uh, let's see. Yes, I do have a couple of Nitor. Okay. And I've already gotten, ahead, gotten some bricks here, so... And drop a wand in here. 
Bang, we got a blank animation core. All right, next step. We need the decanting core, which is a blank core with some aqua and vacuous. All right. Okay, that's five aqua and five vacuous. Yeah, all right. And sugar cane will do nicely for that. So we'll drop the sugar cane in here because if I shift click, you see it's got one aqua per sugar cane. It's got a couple of other things, but it won't be bad. And the chests have got vacuous, so five of that, five of this. Drop the animation core in there, and we have a decanting core. All right, great. And whoops, those road lights are rather slippery. Okay. All right, the air upgrades, gold around air shards. Okay, I've got plenty of nuggets. And get a couple of these. And two upgrade cores. These are speed upgrades. All right. Now... Let's see. The tallow golem, we need tallow block. Well, to make the tallow. Yeah, we have to make the tallow first. And that's Precantatio with rotten flesh as a catalyst. Okay, let's see. I went ahead and got some of these earth shards out because there's plenty of them. I should probably clear that out. All right. Shift right click. Apply a little bit of pollution control. Get rid of that. All right. Now, should be two shards and one rotten flesh. And yeah, that's got the magic tallow. I'm going to go ahead and make up a bunch of that, and we'll get to the next step. Okay, got a good bunch of this magic tallow now. So just set this up, and I'm just going to make all of that up. I'll probably want more of these things in the future. And now to get the golem, we need, let's see, got a look here. In the Crucible, we need eight Spiritus, eight Modus, and eight Humanus. And the easiest combination to get that is, let's see... Some sugar cane. That's got the that part. This one has spiritus, and the trap door has modus. So we drop the. All right. Got my tallow block right there. Okay. So. Eight sugar cane, eight sugar sand, and eight doors. Tallow block. Whoops. All right. That didn't work and ended up making nothing but a mess because I didn't pay attention to or managed to forget between the time I looked at this. It said Humanus, Motus, and Spiritus. Between that and doing it, I managed to put the wrong things in there. See, I didn't need to put... Oh, uh, whatever it was I put in there. What I needed was... 
Not the sugar cane. It needed to be slow sand, trap doors, and rotten flesh. Eight of each, followed by a tallow block. So, let's get going before the nausea gets worse. Okay, eight slow sand. Eight trap doors. Eight rotten flesh. And one tallow block. Bang, we have a tallow golem. All right. Now, I'll get this mess cleaned up, and we'll see about putting him to work. All right. I almost forgot there was one more step here. And that is, we've got the animation core. We need Golem Core Alchemy. And this is just another one of those click to get the research. So we'll go ahead and take that and have a look at this. And this is a specialized version of the decanting core. We need three water bottles. We need a warded jar an animation core of decanting in the center of the infusion setup. And then we infuse that with these items and 15 Precantatio and 15 Modus and 15 Water Aqua. And we'll get the animation core for alchemy. So, let's see. Okay. They'll also favor the labeled jars. So if your jars are labeled, they'll go to those first over the empty ones. And so on. If there's void jars, they'll try to fill the normal ones first and so on. Okay. All right. Now we still need to get that Gullamancer's bell. So I'll grab a stick. Some nether quartz. And we'll go ahead and make that up in here. Must have left my wand elsewhere. But fortunately, I keep multiples. There's Golemancer's Bell, and that will allow us to give some direction to this guy. All right, now let's get that infusion. Okay, now we're ready to get this thing in gear. We've got our decanting core, we've got our water bottles. Get things arranged here. Oh, that's right. I need another jar. All right. So we take the decanting core right here in the center. And then the water bottles. Let's see. Here and here. And here. And an empty jar there. Whack this thing with a wand. And we should be in business. Pulling in everything it needs from the jars. Everything appears to be nice and stable. All these crystals are helping, I'm sure. Start sucking in the items out here. Whoa. Lotus jar is empty. Do I have another one in here? I hope so. This is not good. Make up some trap doors. up in here real quick. Alright. 
This thing is still waiting on the last little bit of notice. And let's hope I can get it in there quickly enough. So you can tell, it still needs nine modus. All right, let's set this down. All right, it's pulling it in. Okay, disaster averted. In this case, there's enough stabilization here to prevent it from being a problem. Items are now being brought in. I will have to double check See, there's a lesson right there. Always double or triple check to make sure you have enough aspects in jars for the operation you're going to do. Okay, right click on the pedestal, pull that out. We've got our alchemy animation core. Okay. Tallow golem, our animation core, our upgrades. All right. Right click on this. Give him the animation core. You see he's got a little jar there, and we'll go ahead and pop the speed upgrades on him now. And now this thing, let's see, if I shift right, if I right click on him, yeah, it shows he's tied to that device. Right click here, that gives him access to this row of jars. Right click here, gives him access to this row of jars. And now he will just take whatever's in this thing and deposit it in the jars. All right. That's good. That's great. He'll just deliver that stuff automatically. He'll run around here and handle this stuff. He will prefer labeled jars over the unlabeled. So that way he won't use an unlabeled jar unless he doesn't have a labeled jar he can put stuff in. And he will also, if I were to, like, for example, something that uh, I'm going to end up with a lot of. Uh, yeah, this stuff right here. Arbor. The wood aspect. Now that jar, I'm going to end up making a, a void jar. So that once it's full, the excess, it will still accept input, but the excess will be voided away. Because that's something you end up with a lot of, but you don't actually need to use very much. So, let's see, what do we got going in here? Let's go ahead and, uh, just going to drop some cobblestone in there. I'm going to need to get some more fuel in there. And what I'm also wanting to do, I'm going to make another one of these over here and set up another golem working from this side. And, uh, that will go a long way towards making it easier to keep this, these jars filled. All I will have to do is provide the raw aspects for him to move. Okay, now there's jars getting stuff in them here. Okay, that's... Oh, no, we, we don't want that, so we're going to shift right click. That's right, with an empty hand. Shift right click to empty that jar. This one is Terra. We've already got a Terra. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to get uh, some warded jars made up and replace some of these really full ones with warded jars, the ones that I'm going to get lots and lots of stuff of. But I'll get uh, some of that stuff done between now and next time, and uh, we'll start out next time. I'll give you an update on what's going on where, and uh, we will progress from there. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.